um so hi everyone uh, welcome to another video on lead code problems so today we are going to see the solution of maximum sum of distinct subarrays with length k um so it is a medium level problem and i think yes it falls in medium category um and let's see the problem uh, you are given an integer array nums and an integer k we have to find the maximum subarray sum of all the subarray of nums that meets the following requirements the requirements are the length of subarray must be k and all the elements in it must be different and if uh, no subarray meets uh, that requirement the answer will be zero so let us understand what the question is saying so in question we are given that we will be given an array of length n suppose we are given an array of length n and we have to find the maximum of every such subarray which has length equal to k suppose we have an subarray here uh, whose length is equal to k and all elements should be distinct so uh, suppose we have i i ai here and aj here so ai must not be equal to aj in this subarray so we have to find such subarray sum so let us see with an example uh, let us see this example 1542999 k is equal to 3 so suppose we have a uh, this subarray of length 3 in this we can see that no elements are present more than one times and all elements are distinct and the length is 3 so the pos one possible sum can be 1 plus 5 plus 4 which is equal to 10 so we can see that one possible sum is equal to 10 now let's move right and see this so we can see that yes it is also a subarray of length k and has all distinct elements so another possible sum can be 5 plus 4 plus 2 which is 11 so now current answer can be 11 now move right again so we can see that all subarrays are now like all the elements in this subarray are different and uh, um, the sum is equal to 9 plus 2 plus 4 which is equal to 15 so this can be our possible answer now let us move right so you can see that this subarray also has length equal to 3 but has repeated elements 9 and 9 so this can't be possible answer now again move right 999 so we can see that the length is equal to 3 but um, all the elements are non distinct 9 is present three times so this can't be our possible subarray now we can't move right because the length has to be exactly equal to k so we have three possible sums and the maximum of uh, maximum of that is 15 so answer will be 15 so yes uh, now constraints are k is less than equal to the length of array is less than equal to 10k power 5 and uh, nums are nums of i is also less than equal to 10k power 5 so we can see that the one big advantage we have in this question is that the length of subarray is always k so we can what we can do is we can iterate for each subarray of length k length k length k like we can move right so suppose we have this subarray of length k now we can move right and get this subarray so and we can uh, but like if we do this the uh, the complexity will be o of n into k so like we can't compute answer like if if i am computing answer for ai and if i have to compute answer for ai plus 1 i can't just start again from ai plus 1 i have to like if i compute for this array the number of distinct elements again and again like for each array of length k it will take off nk time so we have to simultaneously in off one time update so what we require is so like the two constraints are uh length is equal to k all distinct so suppose we have are having this array a of i and here of a of i plus k minus 1 now we uh, we have found that the number of distinct elements in this array are suppose k if we move right for a i plus 1 to ai plus k now like if we check for this array then in o of one time we have to find how many distinct elements are in this array so this can be easily done by using a hash map uh, so let's see how to do that so we will be keeping an hash map let's call it d it will count the number of uh, the frequency of elements in that subarray so we have to remember that this contains the frequency in only a subarray of length k so this is this and we are maintaining another variable which is named count distinct which is maintaining the count of distinct elements in that subarray okay so now we have this so 
let us see with the help of code so we have a d we are this is hash map this is length of our array we have count distinct and we have answer so answer will be equal to the maximum possible sum so these three are we have already discussed now um, we are also making a prefix sum array so we all know how to get a prefix sum array so okay let's skip this now we are computing for first k element so like what are what we are doing is suppose we have this array a we are computing answer for a of 0 to a of k minus 1 so this can be your first possible subarray so just update the d and count distinct for this subarray so we have we do this uh, d of nums of i plus equal to 1 and if d of nums of i equal to 1 then count distinct plus equal to 1 we are doing this because suppose we have 2 th suppose k equal to 3 we have our array equal to 2 3 4 5 6 7 now initially our d will be empty now we are initially first element so d of 2 plus equal to 1 so d of 2 will be 1 so we know that a d of 2 equal to 1 means that frequency of 2 is now 1 initially it was 0 so we have added another distinct element so hence count distinct plus equal to 1 ok so now for this array if count distinct equal to k then answer can be maximum of uh, this is the prefix sum so ok so one possible answer can be this now we are treating for k to n so now we have uh, calculated answer for this we have updated this two variables the hash map and the count distinct now we have to shift this array to k so uh, uh, currently our endpoint is at k plus 1 now we have to shift our endpoint to k this will be a of k and the initial starting point will be a of 1 so this is our new new array so we, for this we have to calculate the d and the count distinct so uh, we have to add a of k and we have to subtract a of 0 now similarly if uh, we are adding a of k and the count of a of k equal to 1 then the distant count will increase by 1 so count a distant will increase plus equal to 1 if frequency of a of k will be 1 so let's see in code so we are um, what we are doing is we are increasing the d of nums of i plus equal to 1 so i is uh, currently equal to k now if d of nums of i equal to 1 so we have found another distinct element then count of distinct of i plus equal to 1 so remember this we are adding the ith element adding the ith element in our new sub area and removing i minus kth element so uh, by doing this we will get up a new array so d of nums of i minus k minus equal to 1 and if it becomes 0 so we obviously if the count becomes 0 then count of distinct minus equal to 1 and if count of distinct equal to k so this can be our possible answer because we know that length is always equal to k and if count of distinct is also equal to k then answer equal to p this is a sum of that array starting at i and ending at uh, starting at i minus k and ending at i so now finally we return answer so let's run this case and check so submit it okay so it is accepted thank you now please remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this thank you